Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? It's your boy, Chubby Trev. You already know I'm in the building. You know, I just want to make a quick little video for you guys because this is more of an insightful video. You know, I wanted to get back to that because, you know, even though the story time video was doing way better than I expected, I wanted to get back to my bread and butter because, you know, I like talking about real life stuff. I like talking about my observations in the world. And I like talking about some of the personal ongoings in society and in my personal life. But you know, today I wanted to talk basically about an experience that I've been going through. Because as you guys know, I handed in my two weeks notice and you know, I'm about to be on to bigger and better things. You know, life is great, life is beautiful. But I wanted to talk about my observations in my workplace or former or about to be former workplace. Because this is my last week there. And you know, I'm happy as hell. I'm ready to start this new life of mine, this new career of mine. And I'm also like in the meantime, while um while all my paperwork is processing me for me to do my thing, I'm also trying to learn how to weld and how to paint. So I'm gonna probably like get a little job at, at um, a painting company and learn how to paint properly. Cause my next apartment that I have, you're not gonna see this bland background. You guys are gonna see more artwork. You guys are gonna just see me level the place up a little bit and you're gonna see me paint my own kind of room. So, you know, I just wanted to get into that. But you know, that's not the point of the video. The video today is more of my observations at my soon to be former workplace. Because like I started to notice, like since I handed in my two two weeks notice and I told them what I'm going to do and how I'm leaving in the time frame, they put in more responsibility on my back because they know I'm about to be out. So I'm basically a supervisor. I can kind of talk about it now. I'm a supervisor for logistics. At, I'm a supervisor and I do logistics for a hotel, a major company. I can't say their name because, you know, I'm under NDA. But, you know, just that's what I do. So they gave me more work and they're basically asking me to train my replacement and normally they would expect the person who's training the replacement to not give a fuck so since i'm out the door anyway normally they would expect me to say oh i don't care this guy's gonna replace me let me sabotage the company but you know i've done the complete opposite i'm training my replacement how to properly handle things and i'm giving them the real deal real deal evander holyfield i'm giving them the ins and outs of the job i'm telling them what to expect the bullshit what to expect and you know i noticed a lot of people in the office they noticed that i'm not selling my selling my replacement short they noticed that and they're they're all buzzing about and they're like they're mad that i'm doing that because it's making them look bad and that's that's just the thing y'all our generation, Gen Z, we are the biggest haters, the biggest ops. Because it's like when you work hard and you don't go into the toxic cycles like other people and you don't go on TikTok, you don't go on social media and you're just a genuine real person, they hate that more than anything because that makes them insecure, that makes them worrisome because, you know, you're different from everybody else. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you're doing it in a positive way. But I'm just here to talk about how fake and phony stuff be. And, you know, it's like I'm... I'm being a genuine person, but people are mad that I'm being a genuine person and making them look bad. And, you know, that's just a problem with our generation. We're always all grass is greener on the other side. We're always, you know, let me let me be fake nice to people. We're always like that. And then when someone is like legitimately a good person and legitimately nice and legitimately skilled, we don't appreciate them enough. And then it's like and we we honestly hate hard work. You know, I'm not a boomer or anything. I'm a Gen Z or two. But, you know, like I could see some of the complaints that they have. Some of them are valid because even in my own generation, I feel like I don't fit in because, you know, I don't believe in partying and doing all that stuff anymore. And I don't believe in, in doing people dirty just to advance myself in life because I believe in life. You know, we all need to work as a society to better ourselves. Like we could be an individual at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, we got to better ourselves as a society. And if I can have one competent person in the place that I'm leaving and then I can be competent somewhere and they can train another competent person, we can just have more competent people in society. And that's what we need more than anything. But, you know, I'm going to talk about my boss and I've noticed her reactions because she's like really hating on me. Like, I think this hatred she has for me has fostered and she's like around my age. Like, she's like a year older than me. Her hatred of me is just getting more and more by the day and it's not even a professional hatred anymore this is stemming on personal hatred because she's just she's starting to see how insecure she is about herself and a guy like me just proving that i'm better than her and you know that i act and carry myself with character she's just not liking that and you know that's just a problem with our generation you know we don't instead of competing instead of competing and saying oh this guy's better than me let me work harder so i can be good on a level i'm satisfied with we say nah fuck this guy I'm gonna hate on this guy because he's a hard worker and you know I'm gonna sabotage him and I'm gonna do all this hating ass stuff. And you know, I think that's a problem with our generation that we need to address because like at the end of the day, 
when we have kids or when we have a generation, are we going to leave something behind for them? Are we going to leave a legacy behind for them or are we just going to hate and then watch society destroy itself? And I feel like that's a big problem with us because, you know, some of us like, and you know, I, I don't like this term, but some of us who are enlightened and see the yellow big road, we see, you know, we have to stop just self-indulging so much like that, like how we see in society. We got to stop valuing certain things and we got to do what's right. We got to have that experience. We got to have that perspective to pass on to our kids and people who want to be better in life. And we got to stop falling into the pitfalls and traps. Some of us, the light has came on, but others were just hating. And, you know, I think all of us, especially you guys, if you're watching this video, I think all of us can learn to basically not give in to the hate of a person who's hardworking or better than them, but, you know, to learn from them, to improve my thyself and just become better as a person. Because, you know, that's the worst thing about Gen Z, in my opinion. But anyway, that's my video for today. I just wanted to discuss that experience that I'm having because I feel like a lot of people go through this in our generation, especially if you're a hardworking person who who knows what they're worth. You know, a lot of us go through this from our peers and a lot of us go through it from older people. So it's an uphill battle, but we got to keep fighting that battle to be better. And, you know, that's just my message and moral for the day. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me some more things that I should talk about and uh, on my channel. And I'm probably going to do some reaction videos or some more topics as, I, as they come and go. But anyway, that's my video for today. And I'm thankful that you guys are tuning in for me. And as always, I appreciate you guys more than anybody in this world. Thank you.